Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer. And today yet again we are going to discuss with you life after PhD. So there are multiple career options that you can pursue after a PhD like teaching being one of them. Besides this, after a PhD, you can also have a flourishing career in the corporate sector. Do not believe me? Then that's probably because you haven't watched a video dedicated to this topic where we tell you how PhD can have a positive influence on the career of working professionals. Sharing the link of that video in the eye above. Also, we had discussed last week about postdoctoral fellowship, which is a program, which is a research program, which you can pursue after a PhD. So in this video, we had spoken about from where can you pursue a PDF? How can you do it? What is the application process? What is the eligibility criteria? What are the fellowship perks and so many other things? However, there were many PhD graduates who wanted us to exactly tell you the difference between a PhD course and a PDF course, that is a postdoctoral fellowship program. So here we are with another video where we are going to specifically tell you 10 major differences between a PhD and a postdoctoral fellowship. So let us start with difference number one which relates to the qualification required in both of these programs. So to pursue a PhD, the minimum qualification that you require in India is a master's degree. As per the 2022 November guidelines, even a four year graduate can pursue a PhD directly after their four years of graduation. In many international universities, Students who completed their graduation are also, that is their three years graduation, can also pursue a PhD. So you have to be, depending on the university and the country, either a graduate, postgraduate or a four-year graduate to pursue a PhD. However, when it comes to a postdoctoral fellowship program, which we would address as PDF in the rest of our video, the minimum qualification required is a doctoral or a PhD degree and this requirement is common across universities, across nations. So PhD is the minimum qualification for PDF. Yes, uh, of course, as we had mentioned in our previous video, many universities would allow you to apply to a PDF program and start your PDF program even if you've submitted your thesis, even you, you uh, even if you are still awaiting your final viva and award of your PhD degree, but then also you would be allowed to apply and start your PDF program. From here, we move on to the next difference, which relates to experience versus qualification. So, PhD is an academic qualification. Once you finish a PhD, you get a degree and you it adds to your overall academic qualifications. But when it comes to a PDF, you do not get a degree or a diploma. Rather, you add to your overall experience, your research experience. So PDF is enriching the experience part in your CV, whereas PhD enriches your qualifications. So the third difference relates to the duration of the program. Minimum duration to pursue a PhD is usually two to three years across countries. In India, the minimum duration is three years. The maximum duration varies between four to six years. Though in India, now the maximum duration is eight years for all categories and 10 years, which includes your maternity leave as well, is for females. So uh, that's how long a PhD program can last. However, when it comes to a PDF, a postdoctoral fellowship, the minimum duration is very brief. It could be as short as six months, one year, two years. In fact, uh, one of the science schools by Harvard is the only school that I've come across that uh, gives you a postdoctoral fellowship for a duration of two years. Whereas all the others usually prefer shorter duration of six months to one year of time. 
However, a postdoctoral fellowship is usually renewable. So after taking, uh, after seeing your performance, if they find that satisfactory, those six months of time can be renewed again. Your contract can be renewed again for another six months or one year and so on. Coming to the fourth difference between PhD and PDF. This fourth difference relates to full-time and part-time. A PhD in India can be either full-time or part-time. So part-time PhD has been designed specifically for students who want to keep working while pursuing their PhD. So it is designed for working professionals. In case you are not familiar with the concept of part-time, then we've made several videos dedicated to this topic like difference between part-time and full-time PhD or the 10 facts related to part-time PhD or how can working professionals pursue a PhD. So sharing the links of some of our most popular video on these topics in the eye above and list of all the videos dedicated to part-time and full-time with their names have been given in the description below. Okay, now when it comes to PDF, that is postdoctoral fellowship, there is no part-time. PDFs are always full-time in nature across countries. You might be given a work from home uh, PDF opportunity, but that is it. Apart from that, you would be like a regular employee. You would be reporting to the university or the institution on a daily basis for regular intervals and with fixed leaves. So that's difference number four. Now let us move on to the next difference which relates to mentorship provided during PhD and PDF. So when it comes to a PhD, you are definitely going to get a guide or a PhD supervisor to whom you would be reporting under whose guidance you would be preparing your thesis, writing your papers. So uh, that's a mandatory part of a PhD, again, across countries. But when it comes to a PDF, you are usually not assigned to any one particular mentor or guide. You are treated like an independent researcher who is working for a particular research department. Yes, you might be reporting to the research department's head or to your specific department's head or to the director or somebody, but you would not be specifically under the mentorship or under the guidance ship or of any supervisor. This is the fifth difference between a PhD and a PDF. The sixth difference relates to research publications. A few months back, uh, UGC had declared that it is not mandatory for PhD students to publish research papers for the submission of thesis. Prior to that, in India, you could only submit your thesis once you have at least one research paper publication. However, after this change of UGC guidelines, there are many universities who have also relaxed their norms and are not asking their PhD scholars to publish papers, though majority of universities still are. Uh, anyways, when it comes to PDF, having no research publication is not an option. Research publication are an important mandatory uh, part of the job of a PDF, that is a postdoctoral fellowship. In fact, the only two tasks that they have is research and then get that research published in a reputed journal. So from here we move on to the seventh difference which relates to the working space or the working environment of a PDF and a PhD scholar. So the full part-time PhD scholar is definitely not given any space, any particular office to work into. However, when it comes to a full-time PhD scholar, they may or may not be given any one designated space to work. They might be usually working from their own hostel rooms or own PG rooms. But when it comes to a postdoctoral fellowship, they are usually given a, de a dedicated space, a workstation uh, to work from. Now, from here, we move on to the next uh, difference which relates to the fellowship of both these two programs. Now in India, there are three types of scholars. First is part-time scholars who do not get any fellowship. The next are full-time scholars who get a fellowship. 
and the third category are also full time scholars who do not get a fellowship yes there are certain universities who do not give fellowship to full time scholars there are certain universities who have this as a special category that you can take admission into full time with scholar with fellowship or full time with without a fellowship obviously without a fellowship the norms the eligibility norms are relaxed and that is why student becomes more interested in it okay so here are the three categories in case of a phd scholar but when it comes to pdf fellowship is again an important part of a post doctoral fellowship there is no post doctoral fellowship without a fellowship and the fellowships that you get are quite handsome as compared to the fellowships that a phd full time scholar gets difference number 8 relates to teaching and other additional task along with research so in phd there are a number of other things besides research that a scholar full time scholar is engaged in one of them being teaching organizing events evaluation invigilation and so on however when it comes to a pdf as i have repeatedly saying the most important task for a pdf is research and publications you are seldom engaged in any other task in fact there was a university where i read that they clearly said that a pdf will not be engaged in any kind of teaching unless and until the pdf themselves desire their express their desire to get involved in teaching so uh, that's the difference between the nature of work between a phd full time scholar and a pdf the last and one of the important differences between a pdf and a phd is that phd you are a student and therefore you are usually have to pay a fee to pursue a phd whereas in pdf you are treated more like an employee and that is why you get a fellowship and you do not have to pay any kind of fees so yes difference in the fee structure is the last difference between a phd and a pdf with this we come to the end of our video if in case you want any kind of personalized guidance related to post doctoral fellowship or phd then you can get in touch with me on the number given below if you have any questions related to phd phd or pdf then you can put them in the comment section below Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our videos and have a nice week ahead. Thank you.